DJ Pimp Daddy back. Episode maybe eleven. I, I don't even know. <laughs> Where'd we leave off with your skull splitter? So uh I ran over to our little cobalty merchant guy and I of course healed up and I even as a nice gesture of token of awesomeness, I went ahead and sold all our stuff. So we're, we're, we're fresh. We're fresh as a Miz. And we have uh, empty inventory for the most part. I still have some stuff, but not nearly as crazy as it was. Uh, yeah, I still don't know what any of this crap is. <laughs> so... Yeah, I traded around some of the uh, some of the stuff too. Uh, we had a lot of like uh, little like gems and trinkets and things. Uh, so everybody's gotten up and just for what's example, going on? Follow me. Yes. Yeah, her, Everybody, follow she's me. She's wearing a a ring now that has like a red hue, a red yeah. light. So yeah. <laughs> so. Journey wise, we're supposed to go to Old Owl Well. So let's get out of the city and find that place. I'm disappointed. I thought you'd be harder to find than this, Nishka. Leldon's been after you for some time now. If I didn't want to be found, you'd still be stumbling around in the dark, Tremel. Tell Leldon to back off. I'll <sighs> be coming for him. <sighs> Leldon's not just paying me gold for this He's also bringing me in as his partner Just as soon as I bring him your horns You're doing this to become Leldon's partner? Trust me I'll be Man, she you wronged this guy you. She must have really wronged this guy Walk You're away. acting like this is some kind of choice You're all marked and I intend to collect. Come on, demon girl. Let's see if you're as hard to kill as they say. <clears throat> Cora, thug, thug, thug. Timo. Now you got me mad. Let's get him. I want you to kill Trimmel too. Okay. Nice. <laughs> now the city watch is helping us. I, <laughs> I wonder how many of his goons will have to carve up before he gets wise. I think it's time we paid him a visit. I guess you're right. As much as I'm enjoying tweaking his nose, <laughs> Weldon's getting out of hand. He'll be ready though. Since he knows I'm here, he's got to know that I'll be coming for him. I prefer we do something he's not expecting. I don't plan to kill him. <clears throat> this will be too much fun to ruin it by killing him. Look, Leldon's not going to give up. Trust me, he was my partner. I know him. He's got a soft spot, though. There's this coin of his that he thinks is lucky. He always has it with him on jobs couldn't stop playing with it <laughs> real annoying he's probably got it well protected too so I want to steal it out from under his nose <laughs> uh, go on don't you see if I can get my hands on that coin he might give up after all without it his plans will always fail at least he thinks so it seems like a weak plan it's easier to yeah. kill Yeah, and I won't be sorry if it comes <laughs> to that. Still, it's not as entertaining. I'll take every chance I get to tweak his nose, but I'd prefer to rob him. He's got more style. She's got a point At least there. we'll have something to bargain with. He really likes that coin. We'll do it your way. Thanks, and believe me, I know what I'm doing. Always I've trust already told you I won't let anything Says happen to no you. Says no one ever. Uh, where the do first we step is to figure out where Leldon's hold up. I doubt any of my old contacts will want to talk. Looks like Leldon's got some influence in this district. Ofala would know where he is, though. 
She knows just about everything that goes on here and in Black Lake. Yeah, she might be able to help us. We should go talk to her. She owns the Moonstone Mask here in the Merchant Quarter. It used to be a place for people who, um, needed some privacy. She's cleaned it up <laughs> quite a bit since the war, though. Anyway, she knows about pretty much anything that goes on in the district. Not surprising, considering the kind of place the Moonstone Mask used to be. I'd prefer Whore to torture house. the information out of Leldon's thugs. But I guess this way is easy. Okay, Moonstone Mask, huh? Ooh, Longsword 2. Oh, yes! Yeah. He has a... What does he have? Uh, a tower shield. What are you carrying? Twenty-eight plus one. Bludgeoning. Yep. Plus one. Twenty-eight plus two. Maybe. Yes. Does he have long sword feats? Proficiency. Proficiency. Simple. I don't even know. I don't think he's proficient in it, but yeah. Oh well. So we're going to. Where was it? The Park Temple of Tear, the Moonstone Mask. Or this way. There's the Moonstone Mask. <coughs> In we go. Zoom up. This is my people. Hello, Evelyn. <laughs> Are you meant to come in here? you talking about it's no common tavern goods and services are very expensive obviously you can't afford it I'm sure there are places to be happy to take my good gold oh I thought by your clothes you didn't have a copy of your name forgive me if I misunderstood oh yeah There's Ophelia. Nishka! Perhaps it was not the best time to return. Linden is not in the best mood since you last visited. I know, I know. We've already got his message. I'm not surprised. Gang of thieves cutthroat serving him now. He's become more bold. Must amend him or pay him back. Whatever. Continue. Owe him. I don't know that two copper thief. <laughs> well... Two coppers, if he can't guard his share, it's his fault. You tell him where he is. If you go to one Leldon, you'd be placing your lives in danger. You sure you wish to do this? <clears throat> uh, if we settle accounts with him, pay him back, maybe this grudge will be settled. Yeah, what he said. Very well, you can take him home here in the Merchant Quarter. I'll mark it on your map. Careful. It's patrolled by dogs. There's wards. Okay. Very well. Is there something else I could help you with? 
Uh, you know what's going on in the Black Lake District? I've heard little, only that nobleman was murdered. Can you give me access? No! <laughs> Never mind, I'll be going. Mask Entertainer. Any more stealing or pillaging? Hello, cook. Hello. Kitchen boy. You ragged scullion. Get out of my way. I'm intrigued. Did you enjoy my dance, my lord? Uh. <laughs> She's just like. Makes fun of her. <laughs> I'm sure we can go upstairs and cause some uh, mirth. This is a nice place. Unlocking. Special key is required for that object. Well, damn it. Off we go. Back into Neverwinter. <clears throat> so, let's go find this dude. It got dark. In Linden's hideout. Okay. So it's just like a block up. Uh, let's save our game. Always a good idea. So he's basically on the back side of this building. Crafting materials. Cave of Winter. Hmm. It's not bad for fifteen thousand gold. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. <laughs> That's expensive. Uh oh. And that's why. Excuse me. As I was... Stop right there, kid. We've got ourselves a thief. I was just running. I run fast. What's this about a thief? Check your coin purse. And don't even think of moving, child. Please, sir. I'm just running. Can I just leave? What? Why, you're right. My coin purse is missing. You're going straight to the watch after you hand over that pouch. Uh, so Are you sure it's this little girl? Yes, I'm sure. It's just not safe to walk around here anymore. Just last 10 day, I lost 10 gold to one of these scamps. And I'm not about to let this one off, even if she looks so innocent. Turn out your pockets now! Unhand my daughter. Of course! I could tell just by looking at you. Why don't you stay out of this? What are you doing to her? She's just a little girl. <laughs> uh, have a heart, let her go. It's like he said. Look at her. We should let her be. Just don't ever do it again, girl. You're getting off lucky. Thank the gods you were here. Kids can get treated real bad on the streets. Thank you. I owe you one. Yeah, you do. 
It's like the third time I saved your life. Okay. So we're going over here somewhere. Save our game again, because I don't want to go through that cutscene again. Okay, so we got... It's this one right here, right? Do we just go in? Okay, uh, How can I help? You open the door. Yeah? Stop chasing them. All right. Keep your shorts on, Junior. I'm on it. How can I help? Yeah. Uh, I hate small hallways. Anything else worth stealing? <sighs> Remind me next time to disarm the trap, even in the middle of the fight. Like that trap. Take that! Take that! Okay, everyone follow me and see how it's done. 
she got it. Finally. Okay, let's go back this way. Let's rest if we can. Yes. Come on, thief. Get up here and be a thief. <coughs> okay. So we know we don't need a spot. Spot. Anything we're stealing in this room? Guess we will go this way. Unidentified armor. Just assume that all these damn doors are going to be trapped. Mishka. The damn door. Yes. Yes. Nice. All done. Well, well, well. Looks like this lock needs some special attention. Uh, All done. Okay. Well, they're supposed to have like dogs and stuff. Journal's been updated. Who in the nine hells would dare to break into my home? I'll gut the- Oh! Hey! Hey, Leldon. I, I didn't mean to wake you up. I actually, I was just leaving. Nishka! Finally got smart, eh? Come to pay me back? Leldon... <laughs> the thing is... Save your breath. You'll need it to scream. <laughs> You'll be the one screaming. Uh, that's good from the intimidation angle, but, uh, you don't need to be quite so genuine. We only need the coin, you know. After the coin, eh? Yeah, you could have used a little luck. You're just about out. This isn't over, I swear it. Oh. Flashbang. Phew. Stupid smoke potions. He always does that when he's lost a fight. The coward. Still, that should have taught him a lesson. He'll never call me goat girl again. Hey, thanks for your help. We'd better get out of here before... I mean, we came this, way, this far. We might as well take it all.
what we got is coin. Which, to some, is a small victory. To others, kind of, eh, it's kind of an anticlimactic uh, plotline ending. The dude ran off. Oh well. <clears throat> Out we go. Okay. Back to our normal view here. So, um, back out. He's good loading. See, Adam in the Black Lake District. The Halls of Justice. Okay, let's get out of here. We've spent enough time in the city. The city bores me. far out there. <laughs> now this here is White Thistle. Can give you the runs, you know. And I made up a song for it. Uh, quite a catchy tune. White Thistle, White Thistle, all in a row. In never winter woods, they all grow. Oh, well, Matt. Sorry. Didn't even see you standing there. Thought you might be a Wendis neighbor at first, but... I can see you. <laughs> so, I guess that discounts that. What Thought I doing? might camp out here a bit. Play a tune or three. See if I could catch their attention. No luck, though. Are you but a luck's bard? what you make it. So I've been working hard. Oh, but I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Grobdon Gnome Hands. Probably guessing where that last name comes from, don't you? <laughs> well, tends to confuse most people. Quite a collector and maker and teller of tales I am. All the gnome hands are, except the ones they hanged in Luskin. <laughs> Working on quite a tale myself, you know, <laughs> and the act of composing, it is a tale in itself. <coughs> uh, are you a bard? Indeed. I, Grobna, am a philosopher, a poet, a cataloger of flora, fauna, and all things wild and all things mechanical. And I can give it rhythm. You see, it all starts with a tune. Say, about that bush, or that root, or that cloud, or that boot. Uh, he's, he's already rhyming. And then, after I had welded the spring-mounted mechanical shield on my codpiece, I fired it, <laughs> only to be thrown back almost 30 yards right into a wall. Stung quite a bit. I'll say that much, but what I learned was, was... <laughs> I say, all that discussion has really built up a hunger. Lost all track? Something oh, about your you were listening so intently you closed your eyes and laid down for a bit. Made some funny laughing noises at the right times, too. Almost thought you were snoring. No trouble. Don't blame you. I barely notice the world around me once I conjure up a story. So if closing your eyes helps you concentrate, by I all like this means. Guy. I knew this mage once who... Uh, if you want to come with Excellent. us. Excellent. Oh, you won't regret this. I mean, too many times. Ah, uh, so who do we get rid of? Do we get rid of? Uh, let's see. She's kind of a a liability for the most part. Except 
party. Goodbye. Everyone, follow me. So what do you got on in here? A whole lot of nothing. A bow and some arrows. Okay. Everyone follow me and see how it's done. <coughs> Excuse me. On our way to Oldwell. Travel. We'll give this guy a shot. <laughs> God help us. There you are. It took so long. Couldn't find the mountains. I take it you're my contact. Ah, so there's something news between those ears. Good to know. Axel sent someone who's not a complete fool. I thought the last recruit they sent me was one of the Grey Cloaks. Actually, he thought he knew better than I did. So my dagger ended up between his shoulder blades. Do you know why you were sent here, yes? To escort the emissary back to... Yes. Good. I'm here to help. Unfortunately, it's cold up here. Water Deke Emissary didn't make it to Neverwinter. Thing is, we don't even know what happened to him. Fortunately, the council decided to send the Grey Cloaks to help the old owl well. Gave me perfect cover. What's important about this well? It's the only water source within three days' ride in any direction. Good to know. We should poison it. Uh, if the Grey Cokes take it back from the Orcs, the trade route between Neverwinter and New York Tower will be open again, which serves our interests. <sighs> How does this involve the Emissary? You mean you should be able to find the Emissary? The Grey Cokes will even help you. What do you need me to do? Take these missives, they'll say you're here in the council's order to find the emissary. And these forgeries, they look official. Forged isn't the right word. I have friends on the council, and that's all one needs. Show them to Calum. And one will be enough to get his support and freedom to move around without drawing suspicion. What will you be doing? Waiting. Keeping calm. Uh, bring him back here. We'll make sure he gets under our protection. Why couldn't you have done this? Fighting an army of orcs doesn't play to my strength. That's where you come in. Ah, <sighs> what if he realizes these are fakes? Then Axel will need to send another recruit, so just make it convincing. Ask less questions. I'll be going. Okay, so we're in this camp. And it appears that we will be. We're looking for someone named Calum. Gray cloak, gray cloak, gray cloak. Simmy. Who is Simmy? Oh, you're not one of the gray cloaks. Care to have a look at my wares? Yes, please. Nothing but the best. Everyone, follow me. Okay. He needs something. Okay. Everyone follow me and see how it's done. Oh, yes. Gobnar, you need to talk to Simi. Okay. Oh, yes. Leather armor plus two. Two plus two. This is a three plus one. Same thing. that <laughs> he's definitely not a monk <clears throat> uh, road of mending zero high 
plus fifteen. Yes. What does she have? Armor of loyalty. Hmm. Uh, oh yes. Archer's belt. Resistance piercing. Acid arrows. One D six. And he just has arrow plus one. Let's buy these. Get that shit. And he has a short bow plus one. One, yeah, I think it's probably gonna be the best we're gonna be able to get. Miscellaneous. Uh, uh, constraints is where it provides a different amount of protection. Maximum dex bonus plus six. Light armor. Ability score penalty, yeah. I don't want to restrict him too much. I want those walls up by them. evening. No excuses. The orcs aren't going to stop attacking just because we need to catch our breath. But, sir, the men are having a hard time finding the materials we need. You're telling me they can't find any stones? We're in the middle of the blasted mountains. Mm -hmm. Unless you'd like to report to Nashia that we're overrun because we couldn't find rocks, I suggest you drive some sense into your men and get that wall built. Yes, sir. I'll see to it, sir. I tell you, mm -hmm. I've lost years off my life trying to get this rabble fit for service. <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? Reinforcements? I'm looking for the one in charge That would here. be me. Let me tell you, leading these farmers is a mixed blessing. They've got a ways to go. I'm Colum. Commander Colum to you. Lord Nasha sent me here to secure the old owl well. So what are you doing here? I'm here to escort the emissary. Isani, he hasn't arrived yet. Should have been here a ten day ago. I've sent a scout to look for him. Who are you anyhow? No one told me to expect more men. Not that I'd be complaining. Uh, I'm here in the council. Is that so? And who gave you these orders? You're in my camp, which <laughs> places you under my authority. Go back and complain to the council if you like. If they sent you at all. I assume you've got proof that you are who you say you are. Uh, why are you giving me so much trouble? <laughs> Just seeing how far you'd go to stick with your story. The council rarely speaks with one voice. And when they do, it's usually after Lord Nash has cowed them with the threat of taxes. Still, mm -hmm. as long as you're here to help, you won't hear me complaining. We need all the help we can get. Okay. No, Do my scout hasn't to. reported back yet. Though I expect him soon. He's one of the best. How did anyone know he'd be coming? We're still way? not sure ourselves, really. The information I have is vague, at best. This route makes the best sense, though. It's one of the few they haven't tried yet. I had no idea. This assault has been planned for months. We weren't able to warn Asani ahead of time, though. We weren't expecting to be needing a new emissary, to be honest. Still, at least we'll be here to offer more protection. Why didn't you bring more men? Well, that you? brings us back to the emissary, doesn't it? 
If the Lord's Alliance could communicate, you're right. We'd have more men. But with the emissaries being lost, even so, we've stretched the army thin as it is. I brought along every man that Lord Nasher could spare. The Council's going to have to raise a new army in a hurry if things don't work out here. <sighs> uh, this isn't going as smoothly as I'd hoped it would. Things never do around here. Huh. If they did, there wouldn't be any jobs for the rest of us, would there? I'll expect you to help out with the defense of this camp. You've already brought your own gear, so just find a spot to call home and stay alert. Uh-oh. That didn't take long. Sound the alarm! Orcs! The orcs are attacking! Wouldn't you know it? Not a moment's rest. Great cloaks to arms! For Neverwinter! Okay. Let's go. Hold on, guys. All right, Grey Cloaks. Everyone back to your posts. Another orc raiding party. We're lucky they haven't attacked in full force. Just wish I could make contact with whoever it is that's been distracting the orcs. Someone else is attacking the orcs. Yes. Someone's out there attacking orc patrols, and it's giving us a chance to build up our defenses. So they're on I've your been side. at this long enough to know that you need to control a battlefield, <clears throat> and this new ally of ours is something I can't control. He's not one for talking. Every time I send someone out to contact him, he and his men move their camp. The orcs have a name for him, Katalmak. They say he attacks without warning and without regard for his enemy's numbers. Someone who doesn't play the odds doesn't last too long in my experience. Well, except me. That's not a name orcs give lightly. It's a name they give to warriors who lose themselves in battle. Maybe this Kettlehead person simply lacks basic math. Sounds like someone who wants to die to me. If we weren't here, it'd only be a matter of time before all the tribes in the whale hunted down this Katalmach. And then his crusade would... Well, enough talk about him. I've got my... Commander! Scout for Let's hope he brings word on the emissary. Pathfinder Willem reporting, sir. Willem, did you locate Emissary Asani? No, sir. But I came across his escorts. Killed to the last man, but no sign of the emissary. Orcs, sir. They must have taken him. Sounds like you've got a new assignment. Your job is to escort the emissary to safety. If he's in trouble, you've got to help him. I'd start looking at Yai Sarg Bone Nasher's lair, northeast of here. Bone Nashers? They're still around. Mm -hmm. oh, they're hard to kill. Sounds like a well-mannered fellow, judging from the name. My, Bone Nasher is an interesting name. I wonder what he would have done to earn it. His tribe isn't the biggest, but mm -hmm. he's older and more cunning than most. At the least, he may have an idea who attacked the emissary's guards. The Eye Gouger tribe is the strongest, led by Logram Eye Gouger. <laughs> he keeps the other tribes in line, including the Bone Nashers, and he's the one leading the attacks. All the orcs in the well fall under his banner. Ooh, if we could get lucky and put an arrow through his skull. If we could, the orcs would turn on each other in a heartbeat and mm -hmm. give us enough time to strengthen our position here. Uh, try to defeat him and help him out. Uh... Trust me, if I knew where Logram could be found, I'd hit him myself. Killing him would be the break we've been looking for. But from what I've heard, there's been reports that this unknown ally of ours, this Katalmach, is hitting Logram hard, which means he must know where Logram can be found. But since I can't find this unknown ally of ours, Logram's out of our reach as well. For right now, focus on Yaisag Bone Nasher. See what you can do to find the emissary. Besides, if you cross Logram, that might be more than you can handle. I'll have Willem mark the Bone Nasher lair on your map. You'd better act- If you need anything, we've got Simi here in camp to help you. She normally trades in trinkets for the men, but carries some items more suited for combat as well. We'll hold down the fort. The more orcs we kill here- And if you run into that madman who's attacking the orcs out there, let him know I'd like to have a little chat with him. Okay.
Okay, let's rest real quick. And I don't think we had a level up, did we? Me? Follow me. How can I help? Yeah? No, nope, we did not. Okay, let's save our game. And I think we're going to stop here for the day. Seems like a good stopping point. <coughs> uh, we'll catch up with this as we hunt down our orcish dickheads uh, next episode. Bye-bye.